What is going on guys and gals? I'm very pleased to welcome all car race fanatics to Ken Racing. Razer updated Bass First, also known as Mount Panorama. In this video, I walk you guys through this latest track by doing an 8 lap race. Okay, let's get going. This time I drive Rocco 001 at Bass First, also known as Mount Panorama. I start from the last grid. Oopsie, I just bumped into a car in front. As you can see, I'm driving under thunderstorm condition. Bathurst has been released upon Automobilista 2 final launch timing, but Razer was announcing that Bathurst and Stock Car 2020, the specific car model, is still work in progress at that timing. Now, the beloved Bathurst and Stock Car 2020 is at its final version. I created a video on the same 8 lap race driving sprint race at Bathurst, but that was the older version. This is a kind of hot fix, you know. Razer adjusted the track, curbing, and wall geometry in several places. For instance, elevation at the cutting where you climb up the mountain, curb height at quarry, curb width and angle at McFamily Park, walls at Forest Elbow, curb width at the Chase, the last chicane, and curb height at Murray's Corner, the last corner. In regards to the graphics, Razer added more details to the roads and environment, added even crowds, added several buildings, added distant villages, finished power lines and night lightning, adjusted live brass replacement, adjusted shadows and optimization. What can you expect more? Razer even fixed wrong 150 meter board at the end of Mountain Straits. In regards with the track, Bathurst is best known as Bathurst 1000 motor race held each October and the Bathurst 12 hour race held each February. I guess this track is extracted from Slightly Madness Studios asset together with Agile and Kansai in Automobista 2. I think this track is not laser scanned though. There had been an official announcement from Razer that they will add the beloved Supa, including some historical track layout which contains the famous bus stop chicane. Oh yeah. This Griffin's Bend is very, very tight corner right-hander, so you need to be, be very careful, especially on wet condition. And we climb up the hill. Reza has updated this part particularly. This part is called Corners, and we have Corley Corner. In regard to the car model I'm driving, this car model is actually used in Brazilian Endurance Championship. In Automobilista 2, there are a lot of Brazilian car models. 
and this is one of the most famous car models you can enjoy in Automobista 2. Rocco 001 was named after the initials of Roby Peretz and Parana Jose Cordova. I hope I'm pronouncing them correctly. These guys are actually driving this car model. Interestingly, this car model is using Route RT34 chassis from Formula 3, with the wheels properly covered to meet the championship rules. This car model is just a blast to drive, you guys. This car model has horsepower and at the same time, very, very nimble. Roku 001 and Bassers is a great combo to try out. I don't have any evidence or information, but I'm guessing that Reza also updated force feedback of this car model. I feel turning into corners and braking got a lot better than before. There are so many attractive Brazilian car models available on Automobista 2. I love the Copa series, especially Copa Montana. That is really cool. Sprint race, stock cars which don't have traction control or ABS, former trainer which is so challenging to drive on, and this Rocco 001. This is a blast, guys. I never kind of dreamed of getting so much into these Brazilian car models. You will never get bored. Which is your favorite Brazilian car models? Just let me know in the comment section below. The race is on AI difficulty 95 this time and AI aggression 50%. Lap time is around 2 minutes 30 seconds. The gap ahead is now 0.6. Your front tires are cold. Since I succeeded to carry a lot of speed at the exit of Forest Elbow, I am overtaking the car in front now. Here is the tricky chicane called The Chase. Reza updated the curbs around here. Here I was about to lose control but I was lucky to succeed to get back the balance. The more time goes by, the more the track gets wet. I set the time transition at a much faster pace than normal. So this race started at midnight and now it is around afternoon. Here we are at the skyline, followed by the S's, a punishing series of corners surrounded by concrete walls. As you might see the Houston Belt logo on the car chassis, I'm not advising though, I am using Houston Belt Sprint Race pedals from this time. And this is the day one of using these new pedals. 
I will make a separate video regarding these sprint pedals. I was using Fanatec pedals with no load cell. I think I'm getting much consistent on lap times even under this thunderstorm condition. However, I broke the bolt of the Houston belt base plate, which had been a big upset. So the base plate is wobbling while I'm placing my heel and the base plate is not steady at all. I am hoping that it will get much better after I fix this. I'm carrying a lot of speed so I am attempting to overtake the car in front here. Trying to overtake at the beginning of Skyline and the S's here. AI is protecting very well and I didn't have the pace to catch him. As you can see, AI is getting better and better. Isa announced that they will update this fantastic Automobilista 2 on a monthly basis, so we can expect quite much a lot in the future. So here I'm trying to overtake this guy again, but I just couldn't. Man, AI is getting better and better, guys. This is the final lap, guys. I am at position 11. As you can see, it is very important not to make any big mistakes under wet condition. Because once you make a big mistake and veer off the track, you will lose a lot of time and it will be difficult for you to recover unless the other guys make more big mistakes. This is my last chance to get position 10, but I couldn't succeed and get the pace to overtake this guy. Okay, so much for the race. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. Make sure to smash subscribe and thumbs up button before you leave. And also check out my playlist on other Automobista 2 videos. See you in the next video. Bye bye. P11 and there's the finish. Good result mate, well done.